the saga continues. This is a one shot. Masters of the Universe, The Power of Fear, Dream Halloween 2003. Now, Skeletor is plotting, trying to find another way to get rid of He Man and take over Castle Grayskull. The Snake Men are at bay for now. They're gone, they're missing. Uh, <laughs> he zaps his, uh, his henchmen like he always does. But he has, he has a way to stop He Man. So I don't think he's from Despondos, but Scareglow comes into the picture. Uh, he goes to, so after learning the secrets of the Elixir of Schneider, he can travel anywhere. Uh, he can plug anywhere from anywhere in the universe. So I think he's in the same universe uh, as the planet Eternia. So Skeletor has a job for him. He can uh, play on everyone's fears. <laughs> Scrubs and uh, soap and water for Stinkor. Um, Skeletor is not afraid of anything. He possesses no fear. But, um, and this is just like in the mini comic too from the old days, but uh, he tells Scareglow he's got a job for him to confront Prince Adam, Orko, Tila, and Man at Arms and prey upon their worst fears. Man at Arms' worst fears is him getting old uh, and being preyed upon by ogres. Uh, Tila is about falling to her death. Um, it's all their worst fears. Prince Adam sees a way to, she, he, he has to save his friends, so uh, he turns into He-Man and confronts uh, Scareglow. If anything happens to him, he's got to go get help. So what can Orko do? He-Man's biggest fear was keeping his secret from his parents, and they transform into these grotesque monstrosities, uh, tentacles and everything. Um, so Orko, if we go for help, we might not get back in time. So Orko casts a spell... Will this villain win? It's hard to tell, so let, my, let me help my friends see through this spell. They defeat Scareglow, so he's taken out. Scareglow runs away, the heroes recover, and uh, he wants him to go back. He's, paid his, he's done his best, and all he has, asks is that he returns to his home world. But uh, <laughs> Skeletor reminds him that he has a debt to pay off, and uh, I owe you nothing. You owe me for my wasted time. If you wish to return to your home world, you must prove useful to me. Leave and don't return to you have just something of merit. So he's keeping him around for a while. He'll find the angst within Skeletor's soul. And now we get to this, uh, the reason this comic book was made. This is about, um, the most dream Halloween. I am He-Man, protector of all that is good and just. So it shows that He-Man is more than just fighting the bad guys. He protects the children. Uh, he slays the big dragons against Merman. Uh, destroys the Skeletor robots. When there's fires, well, how do we try? We don't always win. And then uh, the fear of defeat looms over you at every moment. No matter how strong you are, no matter what you do, the problems never seem to go away. But you don't stop, regardless of the fear, regardless of the doubt you keep pushing forward. And in the end, people will stand together. We will pick up the pieces and we will move forward to the next day, to the next battle. Because there are times when all the battles are worth it, and you know there will be always be a reason to keep fighting. That's because there is one thing we all possess, one thing that will always give us a reason to never surrender, and that is hope. And so this is about um, John Christina, who was a former uh, founder and board uh, chair member of Children Affected by AIDS. Um, in 1993, when I found the Children Affected by AIDS Foundation, CAAF, I dreamed that with the help of literally thousands, hundreds of individuals and corporations, I would be able to make a difference in the lives of children affected with HIV and AIDS. Uh, Ten years of making a difference, we take great pride. So this is a this is them helping kids with uh, AIDS and HIV. Uh, my brother had the AIDS virus when I was collecting He-Man. He passed away at the age of 11 years old. He would be um, 45 this year. So I thought this was great. Um, this was made. There was a shorter version with just the uh, with just the large panels, and you have the Chicago Horde. There's the back of N.W. Creations. So this was a very important comic book in that it it used um, Val Staples had used Scareglow to as a metaphor for the worst that you have to overcome as the AIDS virus as the thing that you have to overcome to become better. So I like this. This was a really good issue. This is better than Revelation, any Revelation story you can find. Um, and uh, 
take a moment to give your uh, loved ones who have AIDS or HIV positive or even COVID a hug. And hopefully He-Man will help uh, battle those as well. So uh, until next time, um, I'll probably do one more po post. I got a lot of busy work next week.